using the online gdbc compiler i am going to show you how you should be able to comfortably remove any error message which the compiler throws at you so what i have done here is in the online gdb compiler or on the online gdb platform i have just typed a program which prints the message hello world with at least three errors which are visible the first one is the angle brace is missing here the double quote is missing here and then the semicolon is missing here so what we will do is in order to understand how to remove errors let's try to compile this particular program so one thing you need to understand is error removing is a part of the development process initially the compiler warnings and errors may throw you off a little bit but with a little bit of practice you can easily remove or eliminate the errors in the compiler so what i'm going to do here is i am just going to try to increase the screen size so that you understand what are the error messages the first error message is it is saying missing terminating greater than character that means what is happening here is this particular here stdio.h is missing this particular character now if i continue to run it you will see that we are still not going to be able to get rid of all the errors because in the hello world printf i have missed the double quote i have not given the double quote so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go here and add the double quote then let's try to recompile it so when i recompile it still i am not good enough because there happens to be one more error message what is the error message it's telling me that on this particular line which is that is line hello world here there is a semicolon missing so what i need to do is i need to go ahead and put a semicolon at the end of hello world so once i put the semicolon all right and let me now click on the run let's see if it goes ahead now so now if you see you are going to be able to successfully execute the program and at the bottom window you're going to see the hello world message so this should give you an idea about trying to eliminate or remove compile time errors from your code so please make an effort to type some program delete different things like say for example if you try to remove this hash and if you try to run it okay what is going to happen is you're again going to get a error but sometimes as in this case the error may not be too clear or it may not be very specifically telling you what is wrong but it tells you something is wrong on this particular line so once i go ahead and i put this hash sign here okay if i go and put this particular hash sign here then you're going to see that things are going to be fine and i click the run now if you see again i'm getting this particular message hello world indicating that error was taken out so please take some few sample programs which you will find in the description section sorry description section of my videos and try to copy them into your browser online or on the gdb or on the code blocks ide in your personal pc remove some things and try to see whether you can understand the error messages correct the error messages and then try to run and get the correct output so i hope this helps you understand how to debug and not to get turned off or to try to get disturbed when a compiler throws error messages at you